Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I am back to show you a couple of different ideas using this fun um, Santa and Friends paper kit that I have. It's available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. You can also make these fun pockets and tags with any paper that you have, that you like, that you wanna play with. So real quick, these are super simple, but Again, I kind of like showing different ways and ideas you can use kits. When you print these at full size, it's, I guess, technically meant to be, you know, like a, we fold in half for a junk journal page. But what I did is I printed them, my printer had an option of just to do five by seven. So they printed it five inches tall and seven inches wide, kind of in the middle of the paper. And I'm okay with that because I'll use the the white that's left on that eight and a half by 11 piece of paper uh, for all kinds of things. So that's not a problem. But if you wanna, so if you wanna make something the same size as I am, I'm starting with an image that's five by seven. When I cut this out, printed on white cardstock, I left a half an inch on the left hand side and I did this because we're going to make some fun pockets and I wanted them to be nice and roomy. I, I wanted to use that that piece as a little hinge so I'm going to show you that. So this is a top load and then this one is a side load and the side load I guess it didn't really matter <laughs> about the hinge and I also messed mine up so this one's a little bit more narrow um, than the three and a half inches, but that, that's okay. It's just a smidge. I had to trim it off because I accidentally glued up the side. Ah. I remember how I always tell you guys, hold it by the side you want to leave open. I didn't do that, and I glued my pocket closed. So anyway, you can learn from my mistakes. So we'll do a top load and a side load, and I could have left the hinge to make the side load a little bit roomier, I guess, to you, but Anyway, I'm not going to confuse you guys. We're just going to go for it. Let's do the top load first. And I think I'll do that with the Christmas tree. So to make it easier, I like to score right along the edge here. I'm just going to use my ruler and my bone folder. But you can also try to just fold it, you know, right there on that edge. So you're going to have something that looks like this. Now I also grab my scissors and I'm not, you know, I'm not doing anything super fancy here, but I'm just taking a tiny, I don't know where that went, a tiny sliver, if you can see that, just to make it a little bit neater when I fold it. You can skip this step, but we definitely won't end up having a little bit of extra hanging out if you just kind of do the corners. I didn't do a deep miter just a little one. And I am going to get out my Distress ink. I'm using Walnut Stain. Can you guys believe this is my new one? This is where I'm bad about resting my, my ink uh, dauber on there. But I want to um, use a little bit of Distress ink. And if you guys want to see any of the supplies I use, hop over to my Amazon storefront. Um, it's an affiliate link, so I will get a few pennies from Amazon at no cost to you if you end up making a purchase. But no pressure to do that. Just to give you some ideas, if you want to see what I use and the types of glues, I'm also super excited today. I know this is so silly, but I refilled my glue bottle um, with my wet white glue, so it's always fun to use. It does come out a little faster. And today I am using um, Line Co. brand, just a PVA glue, a wet white glue. It's my everyday go-to glue and it makes me happy. Okay, before we need the glue, let's fold this. So I'm not gonna worry about scoring this one, but now what I'm gonna do is use this as the edge and I'm just gonna fold it in half. So you do wanna fold over that flap first before you fold it in half, okay? super easy. I told you guys this was easy. So I want to leave the top open. So I'm going to add glue to this hinge and then just right along the bottom. And that's that. And you can make these kind of pockets um, to give, like, it, it's roomy enough. You could even put like, I don't know, like a little candy bar in there probably. 
definitely money, a gift card. You know, you really can um, fill these up. And when I say a candy bar, like a flat one, you know, a small one, um, you could wrap something up that's kind of flat in tissue paper and tuck that down inside. So I'm doing tags in mine, but you know, all kinds of things. These will be fun to tuck in a pocket in a junk journal. They're pretty on the front and the back, but you know, you could also glue it down into a journal, all kinds of things. And that's your basic construction. So we're gonna decorate and we are going to make a tag to go in here. Now in this particular kit, there's a few tags that are this size and they're a little tiny for, for the five inch high pocket. But what I did is I mounted this, um, we're gonna mount it on, I've got just some scrapbook cardstock from some other projects I've been working on recently that I think you guys, if you watched those videos, you will have seen them. And I'm just gonna use some of these because they're extra and decide which ones I wanna use. And by just adding that little bit of extra to the height, of the tag it fits in there really nicely so you know what i kind of want the the burgundy the snowman has snowflakes snow on his hat and his scarf and the burgundy kind of goes with with his scarf so i printed these out just regular size but if you're making your own tags this one is four and a quarter by two and a half and i'm just going to glue it let me see if just right on top of this piece of cardstock and then trim it out with my scissors. So again, super easy tags. And then I do have some of my fun ribbons and embellishments out that we can play with and some of the words from the kit too. And then these could also be used to tie onto packages as gift tags, those types of things if you wanted to down the road to use them for your holiday packages. You guys know I love a tag. <laughs> um, so today is a fun day too for me. The day I'm recording this anyway, I'm not sure what day it's going to go live. It's my birthday. So I um, have already gotten lots of phone calls and texts and fun things from um, my kids and my dad and my family members. And um, everybody keeps asking me, what are you doing today? And I'm like, I'm doing what I love to do, which is I'm going to be in my craft room. <laughs> and everybody just laughs but um yeah I think one of the highlights so far is my cousin Shannon who is a um she's a she's a singer she's so talented she's beautiful she sent me a voice text message of her singing happy birthday and I just love it it gives me chills just thinking about it I I text her back and said you just made my day um and I've got more messages now I see on my watch. But I'll look at those when we're done. I am going to make a little, just a little tab to put on here. Kind of like I did with the other one. I just liked the idea. And we'll add another, it'll just give us another little snowflake to put just right there. Just to make it cute and fun. And we'll add a little bit of ink. So anyway, this is what Pam does when she gets to decide what she wants to do on her on her birthday. Is spend time with you guys and make make Christmas crafts. Fun, right? Okay, in this kit you do get some words that are Christmas themed um and this is the full page size and this is the half page size. And depending on the word, I may use one or the other. How about for the snowman, we just use the word um, joy. That will work. It's tiny and um, it'll fit. So I'm going to cut that out. But again, feel free to use whatever papers you have. This has been um, one of my better selling kits. So thank you guys. If you purchased it, I appreciate it. And I just thought it would be fun to have some more ideas of how you might be able to use it. If your printer doesn't give you the option of like the five by seven photo kind of size, you can just pick a percentage just to make it a little smaller so it's not the full page to make yourself some pockets. You can decide, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Okay, 
All right, now on the other one, I think I put the word like right with the little tag, but I don't want to cover up the snowflake. So I got my eyelash ribbon out again, and I just love this green with this particular paper kit. So I'm going to cut a piece and maybe a piece of white as well. So it looks kind of like the greenery and the snow. And let's see how long are these. They're probably longer than I need. I tend to do that. This is about a seven inch length, but we may end up giving the eyelashes, eyelashes a haircut after we get them onto the tag. We'll see. Oh, okay. But you can use, like I did on the prototypes, just traditional ribbon and things as well. I wonder where, here it is. I'm gonna use this. You know what, I'm not gonna use the slot punch. I think if I can put my hands on my crocodile, I'm just gonna do a circle punch. Just like a hole punch. And see, I used the smaller one, which may not have been the best choice, but let's see if I can shove these threads through here. Yay, they worked. Okay, so I just want it to look kind of bunched up at the top and cute, right? I don't know, I may leave it long, we'll see. All right, so there's the tag, oh wait, I'm gonna put, I was waiting to put that onto the side where I was gonna put the word. Hmm, where does the word fit? I don't want to cover up his hat. I'm having a hard time, you guys. You know what? We're not going to put a word on this one, or at least not right now. I'm just going to stick it in, and we'll decorate the front of our pocket and um, decide where maybe we'll use joy on the front of the pocket. So to bring the design of the tab tag to the front of the pocket, I'm going to use, and this is what I did here, a strip of this paper to just kind of decorate the front up just a touch. So I'm going to do whatever the width of this is, probably maybe a quarter of an inch wide of the snowflakes. It's too tall. Just eyeball it. And we're gonna go for it. Yeah, so I'll just put this here. I'm gonna add a little ink. These papers have a white core. So of course the digitals that I printed on white paper, but then this cardstock also has a white core. And I just don't wanna see that as um, the main, are distracting, I guess, because these are kind of the vintagey browns and pretty colors like that. Oh, sliding all over the place. Okay, so we do that. Let me think about if I want a ribbon on the front. Kind of thinking I may skip a ribbon on the front since I've got that fun, funky trim on this tag. Just put the word there. Now, wouldn't that be, like, instead of a traditional card, you could give this someone, um, You this is light enough you could write on, but you could also mount a piece of um, writing paper, so some copy dyed paper, tea paper, just a, a plain paper and a light color, a backing paper, and then, you know, write who it's to from, a note, a message, a Merry Christmas message, and then whoever gets this, um, again, have, has a little a little something something. I love it. If you made little paper ornaments or something, you could put those down in there. Just so cute. Okay, so that was our top load one. So the side load is very, very similar. Um, I'm going to do the hinge again, but we're going to um, <laughs> put the glue down, Pam. Use the bone folder. And like I said, I kind of messed up the other one. I want this one open on the side. So not quite sure the purpose of the hinges. And I think that's what got me confused when I did it before. Okay, so just to have it maybe a little reinforced, we'll just glue it down. Or you can just 
trim these out without leaving that extra white on there and not a big deal. But I'm just gonna glue, since I have it on there and I've scored it so nicely, we're just gonna glue it down. Now, this is gonna be the piece that's open. And I may go ahead and just notch, notch it just a little because I liked that little thumb notch on the first one I did. So we'll do, just do a little notch. Already inked right there. We'll ink around a little more. And on this crease. All right. This is going to be cute. Now, I want to leave it open. And what I did is I think I took my glue and I went like that. I, I don't know what I did. But don't do that. We are going to put glue on just the top and the bottom. That's all we need glue on because we have the fold line and then we want to keep the side open with the notch. And so I, when I was making this one, I did all of this, rubbed it down, and then I had no way to put anything in, so I just cut a sliver off. And he's just a tiny bit more narrow. A Santa on a diet, there you go. All right, so now we have the fun side load. And I'm gonna put a Santa in here like that. I also have other squares. Let me see what if I wanna do something different. I've got Santa, snowman. Ooh, how about the tree and packages? Let's use this one. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna ink and mount it on a piece of the cardstock I have laying here on my desk. And um, I have another freebie that coordinates with this kit. Um, buy me a coffee. So you get these squares on a page. If you haven't already grabbed that, go grab that. Um, but I also added, so if you already grabbed it, I added some background papers that you could use to layer and to make some of these folios with. But I haven't printed, I, I've used the ones that I've printed out. They would be perfect to layer these on uh, if you if you don't have cardstock like I do that I'm trying to use up. So just a thought. And I will have all of that linked for you in the description so that you can go grab those freebies or take a look at the paper kit if you want to. All right. That's cute. And I love this plaid. I loved it when I was um, playing with it before. Um, I made a, a little mini folio with this paper and it was really pretty with all the different plaids. And greens. All right, and I like that it kind of sticks out. It gives you a hint of what's going on. Let's decorate it. Whoa. Let's see, how about, oh, maybe on the front we'll put, I believe, with Santa. And then I'll pick something to put on this card as well, and we'll decide if we want ribbons or what we want. Usually I have whatever embellishments and extras I'm going to use already cut out and ready to go. But I have been using a lot of these words because um, I've been making lots of Christmas projects and things like for my craft fair and that kind of stuff. And um, all right, I'm going to save that to put on Santa and hopefully I won't forget. And anyway, and so... Oh, I already did, I believe, here. Look at that. Oh, well, it's okay. Anyway, and um, so I just I haven't cut more out lately. So here we go. How about I use the big Merry Christmas? I think it'll go um, kind of horizontally right there. Glue and stuff on the front of this. So I got them printed out, just didn't get them all cut out. But that's okay. It's not too much of a fussy cut. Mm. So 
again, I, um, oh, so I told you about my cousin who sang me happy birthday and now I have it forever. And she's a beautiful voice. Um, and she now lives in Tennessee and she actually, um, sings some in Nashville and she's just very talented. So, um, to find out if she has like some social media or some things that I can share with you guys, because, um, if you like that kind of music or whatever, you may really enjoy it. Her name is Shannon. Okay. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I like that. That makes me happy. And we're going to put it in that way. And as soon as you pull it out, you see Merry Christmas. And I think there's room. This one, I think I will use the slot punch. I'm going to eyeball the center. Hope I didn't get too, too close. And I think I'm going to... Whoa, this is like coming crazy loose. Um, do the same thing. Add some eyelash ribbon. Or, is, I guess this is yarn. Eyelash yarn? I guess I can call it ribbon if I want to, right? I get into, um, I don't know if you guys do this. Let me know if you do. Leave me a comment. I get into um, moods once I, like, sometimes get a, a particular ribbon or trim or something out. And I'm like, ooh, and it's all I want to use. So, if you guys get tired of this, I apologize. But I go through, I go through phases. All right. And it's, I don't know if it's, you can tell on the camera, but um, the colors really do work well together. All right, and I'm going to leave that one long too, just because it's fun. All right, now the front, I don't really want to cover up any of the, the design or the pattern on here. So I'm not going to worry about putting like a strip of paper or something on this one. I think I'm just going to put him right there. Just put it right there. And then I do have an idea that I didn't do with the other ones, but I'm gonna pull out, yes, it's here on my desk, my white paint pen. And I'm just gonna add some highlights. These print so pretty, but I just like having some of the little extra dots, like the little snow on Santa's hat and on the paper. And I'm sort of putting them where they are in the print, but if I go off, I'm not worried about it. It's just extras. And it just brightens it up just a touch. Not necessary, but fun. Sort of like, you know, we could use some of the um, liquid pearls to add a little dimension or a little something, something extra. But again, it's just a little fun. I don't even know if you can tell on the camera. Uh, I'm going to kind of draw in his mustache a little bit too. There we go. Make it stand out a little bit. All right. A little bit of extra. Could do more. I am happy with the pockets and tags we made. I hope this gives you a really simple idea of how you can use your digitals, especially if you're like me and you love the junk journal kits that have like, you know, the pages for the, to put in the journal, but then sometimes you still want to play with them some more. <laughs> Here you go. Here's another idea. You can make tags and pockets and things at other sizes and really enjoy them. So if you like the video, please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.